The following program is made possible by generous gifts from partners of Benny Hinn Ministries and viewers like you in this area. Pastor Benny Hinn is urgently preaching the gospel to the lost because the world's only hope is salvation through God's only Son, Jesus Christ. The gift of God is life eternal. This is your day to join Benny Hinn in proclaiming Jesus as Savior and Healer. Pastor Steve Muncy is here. I am so glad. Dear goodness gracious, it's been a long time, and I'm very glad, my dear friend, Pastor Steve is here to bless us today with a word from the Lord. I love it. Amen. You know, I've been hearing some wonderful things about what's happening in your church in Indiana. So please tell me more. Two services now on Wednesday night. Wednesday night. I mean, that's, that's really unheard of. Five and seven on Wednesday night, four services on the weekend, Saturday and three on Sunday. And uh, Good. So how many people all, all together you're running oh, now? We averaged, uh, we averaged last year 15,300 a week. You know, that's about the average. You know, you see Pastor Steve on many telethons and different networks. You know what? He is really a dynamic pastor, Bible teacher, preacher, man of God. I will never forget when you came with me to the Holy Land and you taught on the, on the love of God. And man, I will never forget just feeling the anointing so powerfully. People need to see in a different light. And today I want to just minister the word and let's pray for God's people and bless them. I want to hear what God has for us today. I'm all, all ears and ready. The, the Holy Spirit has really spoken strongly through you. And as I was coming and approaching this moment with you on, on this telecast, uh, the Spirit of the Lord really touched me. And I want you that are listening and watching today to hear that this is a word for Pastor Benny Hinn. Then this word is going to be transferred through this camera as you're watching it on your television set. And there's going to be a word for you. Amen. Pastor Benny Hinn is much like Apostle Paul in the book of Acts. And when I came, I mean, this is really, uh, I'm not trying to be a holy Joe here. I mean, you're, you're, you're more holy than me. But, no, I'm not, but go ahead. But, <laughs> you know, I don't want to be... Uh, people to think, you know, that, you know, I hear voices, uh, you know, it's through the word and the spirit of the Lord comes upon me. And, and, and this impression uh, I've learned over the years is the manifestation of God speaking. He said, I want you to tell Benny Hinn that, uh, I want you to tell him there is a price for believing for people to be healed. Absolutely. There's a price. And he said, I want you to take Benny Hinn and the people that are watching because I'm going to, I am going to do a miracle for the person that is watching today as you speak this word because it is going to encourage them and it's going to encourage Benny Hinn and you that are watching today, you need something. I sense that. Now listen close to this because I think that you will benefit and you will hear and I think you will agree what God is saying to Pastor Benny in, in this miracle ministry that God has given him. Paul goes to Lustra. He and Barnabas, they're there. And the Bible said there was a crippled man that was there. And I want to read it because I want you to know it's right here. The Bible says, and they preached the gospel, and there sat a certain man in Lystria, impotent in his feet, being crippled from his mother's womb, who never had walked. Now, I'm talking to someone right now that you say, oh, that's crippled. I'm, I'm not crippled. No, you're crippled in your finances. You may be crippled in your blood pressure, high or low. You may be crippled in a, in a heart condition. You may be crippled in, in, in a situation with your relationship, with your children, your marriage. Or some bondage. Yeah, you, anything, you're crippled. Exactly. And you're crippled. And, and, and right now, you're probably saying, you're right. I am crippled in this situation. Well, the Bible says that this man was crippled. Paul was preaching. He was speaking. And I want to say to you that that's what you do. But there is a revelation on how the miracle happened. Of course, we know Jesus died on the cross. There's a backside of Calvary as well as the front side of Calvary. And it's well and we must preach the front side of Calvary. 
And that is, for God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But there's also a backside of Calvary, Absolutely. for by His stripes we are healed. And Paul is preaching, and the Bible says, the Bible says that this man, this man that had never walked, the same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him. In other words, this man had, had never walked. He had heard about Apostle Paul. You hear about Benny Hinn. He prays for the sick. He believes God. But this man is steadfast looking at Paul. He's looking at Paul. And I often say, and, and I often say that when you go to Pastor Benny Hinn's meeting, you know, he comes out and, and this choir singing and the people are there and, and he always says, glory to God, I feel the Holy Spirit. Ooh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, I don't have an accent like this. <laughs> yes, you do. You do. So, <laughs> so Steve, I, I love it. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> so. You know, he gets in this, he gets, really, he, he uh, and I'm, make, I'm trying to. And I'm loving it. I'm Go trying ahead. to uh, <laughs> act like him. But I notice that the people who come, just as you are watching today, that the only people that get healed watching miraculously, miraculously, by way of television or in live crusades, is they steadfastly, Focus in. Yeah, they do. On exactly what you're exactly, saying. Exactly, exactly. And it's do. not it's not your words, but it is the word of God. So the yeah. Bible says this man, and right now I'm talking to somebody, that you are about to have something happen to you that's never happened, just as this man who had never walked, that whatever handicap situation you're in, today something is about to happen to you. And I'll tell wow. you why. Because just now, you steadfastly probably reached for the volume of your television and you're turning it up. Or you're getting closer to the television set simply because you're saying, I need a miracle. Now, what is interesting is that this man, the Bible said, he steadfastly, just like you're listening right now. And just as I've told you, and one of the most powerful things that's going to happen today is that Pastor Benny Hinn and myself are going to get an agreement to believe that God is going to do you a miracle. Listen yep. to what the Bible says. The Bible says one can put a thousand to flight, but two can put 10,000 to flight. The law of the word is if you can get just two people to agree, it will be done. Now you're steadfastly. If he and I in the next few moments, which we're going to do is pray and release because you're steadfast into saying, I need a miracle today, and we release that through the camera, right where you're sitting, watching, by phone, on computer, wherever you're getting this signal, because you're steadfast. Now, now, watch this. Watch this. This is what the Lord said. He said, you tell Pastor Benny, and you tell the people who are watching today, that something happened with this man. He was so steadfast that the Bible says, and I read, that Paul perceived that he had faith to be healed. In other words, Paul is, he, he's not, he didn't start the choir. He didn't say, bring me some olive oil. He didn't say, start the healing line. This man is focused in, just like you're focused in right, right now, watching, or you would be in in Pastor Benny's crusade, but you be steadfast. Then Paul perceives, I perceive, you have the faith to be healed. And the next verse says, Paul shouted out, mm. stand up. Excuse me, I, I don't know if you're allowed to do that in the studio. I, I know this is kind of, a, I love it. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But the Bible right here, no, 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 I'm not exaggerating. He said, said with a loud voice, stand upright on thy feet. And he leaped and walked only because Paul perceived. Right now I'm feeling. Yeah. I'm feeling you coming through the camera. I'm, I'm sensing. Oh, you, it's not impossible. Oh, no. The speed of light for you on the other end. We're in the studio. We're on live, uh, on telecast, on your television set. I'm perceiving in this very moment that in just a moment we're going to pray and we're going to speak loudly, clearly in our agreement. 
and you are about to get up. And the Holy Spirit said, now I want you to, t now you get ready because we're getting ready to pray. You get ready. I don't, I, don't, I, it, I don't care what it is, whether it is a family relationship, whether it's your husband, your wife, your children. It, it doesn't matter if they're on drugs, if they're, if they're bound by something, or you're in, a, you're in a fixed financial. It doesn't matter. I, I sense it. If I could sit here. You ever watch Benny Hinn when he starts saying, I see that the Lord is healing somebody with a heart. He's perceiving through the camera. Absolutely. He's picking up that you are steadfast saying, I need a miracle. That's exactly what happened to Paul. He stops his message and says, hey, you, I perceive you can be healed. Get up. Never had walked in his life. When that gift kicks in, I see you do that. I see you oh, all of a sudden that, you yeah. start talking. You say, I see somebody's ear being healed. I see, I see he's perceiving. He's picking up on your steadfastness of watching that set, which I sense right now. And the Holy Spirit said, you need to tell Pastor Benny that because he does that, now this is going to be for him, and then we're going to come right back to you because you're important. Is that you need to tell Pastor Benny Hinn he will pay the price for this because people will think he's great and then they're going to stone him. But the Bible says that when Paul did that, the whole city almost made a God out of him. And then a few days later, they turned and stoned him. Yep. And the reason why Pastor Benny has been stoned, and you can label the stones whatever you want to label but stoned and left him for dead. And I've come to tell you today, they drug Paul out of the city. Read it in the 14th chapter. And the Bible said certain disciples went out into the city and stood around Paul. And the Bible said he stood up. Yep. I have come to be one of the apostles, disciples, if I can say that. And to say Stand up. This ministry is getting ready. For the Bible said that Paul stood up and went to the next city to preach the gospel. He never got a stitch. He never went to the hospital. He never went to bed. He got up all because he could perceive because it is a gift that God is touching you. And until, until you experience the persecution you will never be able to get the perfection of the power of God. And what I'm so thrilled about is I'm sitting on a set of a stone man, a man who has been stoned for anyone, including Jesus Christ, that does well, will always be persecuted. But I have come today to tell you to stand up. Amen. In Jesus' name we have. You will now rise, and there is a rising that's coming. And what the devil meant for evil, God is doing a divine reversal. So, amen. And I have come today to declare the world will hear and the gospel will be preached. And the latter of your life is going to be greater than the former because you can perceive that person in the chair, that person watching, because the gift is within you that Satan hates and begs and pleads and says, Benny Hinn or whoever is on your set, do not tell the person who's watching to get up. You know that that same word was given to me a week ago? Mm. I was in France and a man of God from Ghana walked in. I have never met him before. Very prophetic. Give me that same word you were just preaching. I'm stunned here. This is, I almost stopped and said, this is prophetic. Pastor Steve, same word. In fact, he said to me, he said, God is going to resurrect your, your ministry greater in Africa. Hmm. He says, when you go to Africa, it's going to launch something new that will affect America afterwards. That's amazing. I mean, I'm, really, I'm a little numb here listening to you. Go ahead. Well, I'm just saying, and by the way, Africa, uh, when I go to Africa, the crowds are so unbelievable everywhere I go. Uh, and I've never experienced that because I, I'm not popular. I'm not into that. I mean, I, I preach at my church, and I love when the people come. 
but something is happening in South Africa that the fire has already started and it's going to spread like wildfire around the world. So I agree with what you're saying. I, I, I feel a witness, but at this moment, because you have the ability of the gift of God to perceive that they have faith to be healed. Right now, I'm sensing you're staring at me. It doesn't matter. I don't need to know your name. We don't even know this man's name. Paul did not know his name. He just stepped fast, looked into the television set. Benny Hinn is ministering. I'm a guest. I'm a, uh, I'm a minister of the gospel. And all of a sudden, I sense that God is about ready to do something he's never done before in your life. You've been touched, but this man never walked before. And today, huh, today, the Spirit of the Lord has provoked me, and I know I've seen you many times do this, because I would watch you, I would watch you, and you would say, hmm, I feel right now that the Lord is healing somebody's heart. And I would say, what's he doing? What is that? And then the Lord said, he is perceiving the faith of the person on the other side of the camera or in the arena. He perceives as Paul perceived because the man steadfastly upon Paul. Paul said, I perceive you can be healed and never laid a hand on him, never put any anointing oil on him, just shouted out with a loud voice. Amen. Rise up and be healed. In a few seconds, in a few moments on this telecast, there is going to be an utterance that's going to come from him, an utterance that's going to come from me. We together are, are looking straight at you. In the next 60 minutes of your life, because I perceive you tuned in, you said, Benny Hinn is on. Benny Hinn is on. You didn't know, you didn't know I was going to be on. You didn't know what word was going to take place. But the Lord has given me this word to say to him and now to you. And I sense in my spirit that God, <laughs> we are going to let go with our faith and we are about to shout at you with our faith. Because I perceive at this moment, I perceive but you don't know what I've been through. I don't need to know what you've been through. I don't need to know the age of the man who's crippled in the wheelchair. All I know is he is in that wheelchair, Paul said, or he is in a position he's never walked. And Paul, while he's preaching, while we're having this broadcast, perceives and said, I know because you're steadfast upon what I'm saying. And with a loud voice, he told the man to get up and the man got up. I, w I was preaching uh, several weeks ago. Uh, there was 3,000 in a ballroom, and I was, uh, it was more surreal as me. It was just in Chicago. And I was ministering, and a lady comes down the aisle in a wheelchair. Now, I'm not, the he I'm not like Pastor Benny and so many that can do that. I and I, I believe in miracles. I do. I, s I see them all the time. And, and, you know, in front of everybody, here comes this wheelchair. So I'm put on the spot. And I'm saying, Lord, I'm not this holy. I prayed, I fasted, but I'm preaching and, and, and everybody's watching. For I have to stop what I'm saying and say to her, ma'am, do you believe you can be healed? And then I kind of say, ma'am, if you be healed, will you give me the wheelchair? Some people collect cars. Some people <laughs> collect, you know, models. I said, maybe this would be a great time for me to start collecting wheelchairs, just models. Just say, wake up in the morning and say, devil, look what happened. And she agreed, you know. So I went on preaching. Finally, the minister, Morris Cirillo, said to me, he said, are you going to tell her to get up and, and in front of all these people? And I said, oh, my. This is when I said, Lord, this is when I need Hallelujah and Pastor Benny. I, I, I need someone. And then all of a sudden, something came within me. And this doesn't happen very often. This happens a lot for you. But for me, this was a big deal. I perceived she was so strong and steadfast on what was being said about Jesus healing, that I shouted, get up. And you know what? <laughs> it was the coolest thing. I mean, I'm, I, I'm not trying to impress you. I'm just saying it happened. And when she began to jump up and down, I felt like Superman. <laughs> I, felt like, I felt like I was the holiest 
person in the world. But it was because I perceived just as God is about to do a miracle in your family, He's about to do a miracle with your children, He's about to do a miracle in your body, and He's about to do a miracle in your finances, He's about to do a miracle in your life. Amen. H help me, help me. I'm, my, I'm, I'm help stunned me. by what you're talking about, and I want you to believe with God's people right now, as the anointing is on you, that God's going to release His blessings on their life, Pastor Steve. I sense, Let's do it. I sense in the name of Jesus, and I don't, I don't know how much time is left, and I, I just want to be real sensitive because I'm ready to believe that God is about to heal you of sickle cell anemia. God is about to heal you in your stomach area. Uh, God is about to, and I'm not going to be able to call everything out, but right now you're watching the television set, you're laying in the bed, and in the next few moments of this telecast, the power of God, because I sense, and I'm going to shout in the name of Jesus. And I, I don't mean scream or yell, but I'm going to speak. You know, you used to do that all the time when we go to the meetings. I would notice that you would get into this dimension, and then you would say fire real loud. Yep. It would scare me. It would scare me. I would say, my God, he's so loud. But then I looked and biblically, you were perceiving the people at Connecting a with certain anointing. moment. Absolutely, yeah. And then you did what Apostle Paul did. You shouted with a loud voice. Absolutely. And I saw people come out of the wheelchairs. I saw people come out of their seats. Because faith is released. That's why. The minute you connect with that anointing, faith is released. Yes, but you perceive. Paul said he perceived. Absolutely he did. He could see in this man. I know it takes faith. Faith is what moves God. I understand Hebrews 11 and 1. But there is something about a man of God speaking like I am right now. Okay, is that what's happening to you right now? Right now, I can just feel then, it. Then let's pray for the people right now, and then let's pray also that God will prosper them, bless them, heal them in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Amen, Christ, amen, amen. On the set with Pastor Benny Hinn. Yes, Lord, we agree right now. In the next few seconds, we agree. I believe that you are going to get Right now, get up, get up like the man in the book of Acts. Your depression is leaving. Your fear is leaving. There is an abundance that's coming like you have never witnessed in the history of your life. Right now, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus. Oh, listen, listen to what I'm sensing. This is what I'm sensing. I'm sensing the same thing as Jesus. Jesus says, let's do something for the multitude, but we don't have anything. We don't have any food. And Jesus said, well, what do we have? And then Andrew said, well, we got a little boy here with two fishes and five loaves. What I'm sensing right now that this gospel must be preached. Absolutely. Benny Hinn must go to India. Amen. He must do the work and God is doing something special. I sense right now, right now, that you put, you put in this hand, and you put in this hand, and you say, here is the two fishes and the five loaves, and here is the seed. I just sense that. This is, the, this is 60 seconds that I sense this so strong, and that in the name of Jesus Christ, I sense 250. I just sense that. Mm. And that you put it right into the hands of Jesus so that Jesus can feed the multitudes through this ministry that's going to go around the world. And when you do this, there will be 12 times more that will come back to you after you have planted the seed and it goes forth to spread the gospel. You're going to get 12 times back more. You for said 250 250 $250. $250. $250. I just sensed that. And those people... That's what the Lord is telling you. Right now, put it in your hands. Put it, go to the website right now. And you say, I can't do all of that at once. Then you do as much as you can, whether it's a 50 or 75. The, qu the quicker you do this, the moving of the supernatural blessing for when Jesus began to get it, he began to break it up. It began to multiply. 
and then the 12 baskets. Who knows? Was it given back to the boy that gave the two fishes and five loaves? All I know, there's a 12-fold blessing coming on your business, coming on your life. And I'm telling you, get up. Amen. Because today is the last day you're going through what you're going through. And in the name of Jesus, Thank the Lord, power of God it. is done. Do it right now. There's a phone number. There's, make contact right now. Say, I'm Andrew. I'm Andrew. Here, Jesus. Here is. And $250. Go to your phone right now. Go to the website. I mean, do it right now and say, here it is. And there is going to be a movement of the supernatural. And Can I'm you going, pray with them quickly before we say bye? Father, pray. in the name of Jesus. Amen, Lord. Amen. It is we done. It. There's a new, new dimension <laughs> of prosperity Amen, and a new Amen. dimension of blessing coming upon them now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Keep calling. We only have a few seconds left. Listen, when you step out in faith, you release the anointing. You trigger the harvest. That's all he's talking about. And do it now because the anointing is moving like the waters are being stirred. The number is on the screen. Do it now quickly. And believe God for a 12th return, 12, 12 times return. over. That's right. 12 times over, God will give it back to Amen. you. In Jesus' mighty name, remember, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world, and your days ahead are greater than your past, brighter than your past, healthier than your past, more prosperous than your past. In Jesus' mighty and glorious name, you're going higher than ever because... You're the head and not the tail. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You're victorious. Your future is glorious. Thank you. Keep calling. You, and the gospel is being preached to the nations of the world. We believe that the gospel of Jesus Christ is the answer to humanity and the troubles on this earth. The gospel, the gospel, and only the gospel is the solution. Pastor Benny Hinn is passionate about reaching the lost by obeying the mandate for all believers to go into all the world and preach the gospel. I'm talking about souls, Save my soul. men and women Save my around soul. the world who have not heard the gospel. It's our duty, our privilege, our responsibility to tell them who else will. Nobody will. You can help touch millions around the world as you catch Pastor Benny's vision to use every available resource and opportunity to reach the lost. How can we preach the gospel without support? The gospel is free, but the means to deliver the gospel is expensive. Please go to your phone now and give your gift of $1,500 or $100 for souls. The minute you make a decision, to support the gospel, the minute you say, Lord, I will spend the rest of my life seeing men and women come to the cross. When you make that decision, God Almighty will bless everything you do in life. Call now or give online. Thank you for catching Pastor Benny's vision and sharing his passion to see the lost saved. Jesus came to give his life for men and women, and for me, and for you. To have the privilege to tell the world, awesome.